This weekend, we set the clocks back, and it's a good time to check on batteries on your smoke alarms and fire detectors. It's something that our weather team talks about all the time, and for one member of our team, it was a true lifesaver. Meteorologist Pete Bangioni is in Barrington tonight with a story that's new at 530. Carbon monoxide detectors are important to check, especially after the recent power outages when some people are using generators. Taking her own advice about checking carbon monoxide batteries may have saved the life of Eyewitness News meteorologist Michelle Muscatello and her family. Her husband set up this generator when their power went out several days ago from the storm. I really feel like this was one of those situations where we thought we were doing everything right. We had the generator outside. Muscatello says it was running in a position pretty much where you see it now, with the exhaust seemingly moving away from the house. And not even directly pointing at the bulkhead, but blowing enough towards the bulkhead that the fumes were seeping down in through not just the closed bulkhead, but through a door. Here is that door, which was closed at the time. While her husband was out, Muscatello and her three children were just about to go to bed when they heard a faint noise from the basement. She thought it might be a toy and almost ignored it. We opened up the basement door and heard the carbon monoxide detector going off. And it was actually one of those ones that speaks to you. So it was saying, evacuate, evacuate. That's exactly what she and her family did. Her neighbor and then later the Barrington Fire Department helped determine that there were indeed elevated levels of carbon monoxide. They stayed until the reading was at zero for all three levels. It was a really scary thing, but also I feel very lucky that we have really good neighbors, but we also had this very inexpensive carbon monoxide detector that my husband put up in the basement. The East Providence Fire Department agrees. You have a problem with carbon monoxide, call the fire department. Do not wait to see if someone's going to get sick because then it's too late. And the East Providence Fire Chief told us it's also important to check clothing dryers and make sure they're properly ventilated. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.